main cause of uh, cataracts is age. Um, when you're younger, uh, the lens in the eye is clear and so allows light uh, into the eye and allows us to see. But as we get older, the lens becomes more opaque and that limits our vision. The natural lens acts like a, a camera lens focusing light onto the retina. And um, as we age, the lens, which is made up of mainly water and protein, becomes more cloudy. And this is because the proteins clump together and this causes the reduction in our clarity of vision. Other causes include medical conditions like diabetes, long-term use of steroids, injury to the eye, smoking, drinking too much alcohol, previous eye surgery, ultralight, ultraviolet light radiation, and a family history of cataracts. Early cataracts may not affect your vision. However, as it develops, it can result in a gradual painless loss of, um, loss of vision. A bit like looking through uh, frosted glass, your vision can be blurry. Certain types of cataracts split the light rays, causing certain lights like the sun or a bright uh, lamp to seem too bright or glaring. And this can cause dazzle or glare, especially with car headlights. This symptom is quite debilitating as it can stop people driving, especially at night. Sometimes when a, a certain type of cataract known as a nuclear cataract develops, a patient can get a temporary improvement in their near vision. And this is known as second sight. Um, however, this doesn't last for long and disappears when the cataract worsens. Other symptoms of cataracts include needing a brighter light to read, fading or yellowing of colors or double vision in one eye. In most cases, cataracts are age related. They first appear when a patient, uh, in a patient when they're in their 40s or 50s. Um, they may not go on and affect the patient at that, um, at that time. However, um, the vision may become affected when the patient is over 60 or even later. However, some babies are born with cataracts. These are known as congenital cataracts. Children can also develop cataracts, and these are known as developmental infantile or juvenile cataracts. However, all of this is a rare occurrence. Cataracts can also develop in patients in their 20s or 30s, and this is due to a variety of causes, including injury, diseases like diabetes, radiation, steroids, smoking, and eye surgery. Cataracts usually form very slowly, so the symptoms are gradual. If left untreated, the visual symptoms will worsen, and the cataract will worsen at some point to the, uh, to the point that the vision is seriously impaired. Cataract surgery is a day case procedure. Uh, the patient's not usually required to stay overnight. The procedure itself does not take very long, about 15 minutes or so. However, the patient will be in the hospital for a few hours. This is, a this is to allow uh, for dilating drops to work as well as the anaesthetic. The surgery is usually carried under a local anaesthetic and this is usually in the form of drops. However, if the patient is overly anxious, an anaesthetist can administer some sedation. Cataract surgery involves the cloudy cataractous natural lens to be removed and being replaced by an artificial intraocular lens. The cataract is remo removed by phacoemulsification. And this is a process where an ultrasound probe is inserted into the eye and through a very small incision. The surgeon makes this incision and a hole in the capsular bag that holds the cataract. High frequency ultrasound breaks up the lens into small pieces, which are then aspirated and removed. The new intraocular lens is then placed into the natural capsular bag uh, in place of the cataract. Antibiotic is then placed in the eye and the surgical incisions are closed. This doesn't usually require stitches. A clear shield is placed over the eye to protect it initially from anything going into the eye. After surgery, uh, patients need to apply drops for four weeks. Vision usually starts improving within about 48 hours after the surgery. It's advised to take care when washing your hair or face uh, for the first two weeks after surgery. And I wouldn't re recommend eye makeup for two weeks. Also, strenuous exercise should be avoided for two weeks after the surgery. Any other eye medications that are used for other ocular conditions are usually continued on the advice of the operating surgeon, and this will ensure the best chance of a good outcome after surgery.
of proven ways to prevent cataracts. However, maintaining good eye health enables cataracts to be detected and may reduce their risk, um, the risk of their development. Regular eye examinations at the optician help detect cataracts and other eye problems at their earliest stages. Smokers have a higher risk of cataract surgery compared to non-smokers. Over time, quitting smoking can reduce that risk. Diabetes is associated with a higher risk of cataracts and therefore should be well managed. Studies haven't proven that antioxidants in a pill can prevent cataracts. However, a large population study has shown that a healthy diet, which includes lots of vitamins and minerals, is associated with a reduced risk of cataract development. The sunshine um, that has ultraviolet rays increases the risk of cataracts. Therefore, wearing UV protectant sunglasses will reduce the risk. Excessive alcohol intake also increases the risks and therefore reducing intake will reduce the risk of cataracts.